One knows if she gets the power game going, she's capable of hitting anybody off the court. But it's a big if. I think a lot has to do with her physical conditioning. And when you've had the kind of injuries she's had, it's hard to get back and get any consistency. She really has struggled to put in back-to-back -back matches. But I think out here what will help her, if you look at that match, love and love she won last time. I know it was in 1998, but when someone's given you a bike on the tour, it sticks in your head psychologically. So this will be a very tough match-up for Nadiova. Nadiova to serve. But she is minded to overrule this time. So an interesting start to the match. And Nagyeva will be pleased to have held serve. Well, I thought Pierce. Wow. Where did that one come from? And, but she is a little light and she will struggle. Have this high Baltos, both men and women. having been let back into the point by Pierce. Nagyova should certainly have done rather more with the pass. Uh, and again, Nagyeva, having got the first one back, will be disappointed. And considering Pierce hasn't won too many matches this year since the French, at least, really playing with a lot of confidence out here, going for her shots, looking extremely relaxed. His <laughs> nose is. Missing a golden opportunity here. Love 30 up, looking for the double break. Okay. If Pierce can just combine three or four big shots in a rally, this set is over because Nagyova can't actually do anything, but Nagyova's just hanging in there, hoovering up any little opportunities. And the problem for Pierce is Nagyova's going to get a bit of confidence. Stance for the serve. for the third time. It's looked absolutely dazzling, but for Nagyova, you're, you're not really going to see too many win winners because if you look at the way she hits the balls, hit. No. 
Well, I was amazed that she let that one bounce because you want to take as much time away from your opponent as you can. Could have easily taken this on the volley, but decided to take the net down instead. <laughs> Very short second serve from Najiova. Well, we'll go up to that one well and, and adjusted well because uh, she had to lunge for it a little bit. I thought she was going to finish that off with a forward roll <laughs> because it just seemed to be getting away from her. Obviously, doesn't really want to be up the court. Najova, in fact, she likes to play her tennis three or four feet behind the baseline, scooping the ball up into the air. Oh. Oh, Why didn't none too handsome, I'm afraid. you made the point if Nagy ever gets the ball back into play the chances are Pierce is going to end the rally with an error but in that point was 40 love now juice Thumps the ball. It stays well and truly thumped. Still one of the best ball strikers in the game, and she actually moves extremely quickly to this. Prepared early, got on the outside of the ball, and there's, there's no reply to that. With serve. Going to say something, but thought I'd better not. One of the best points. Pierce here finding angle. Look at the shoulder turn, getting the upper body round. She's missed it. Rector on set point. from Nagyoba and it's she who claims the tie break by nine points to seven and the set that lasted very nearly an hour goes to the Slovak by seven games to six second set <laughs> she really is teeing off now Hitting a winner off the forehand. And 
his force and power. Well, we were saying that if Pierce could sneak the first set, maybe she'd run away with the second. Perhaps the opposite will happen. Well, good defence from Nagiova, but Pierce finds the line. Pierce manages to hold. She was never the greatest of movers, but uh, she did work on that aspect of the game, got herself pretty uh, trim, very fit when she uh, was winning Grand Slam titles. But you look at her now and it's well, even more statuesque than normal. I think Mary though plays the right way for the way that she actually moves around the court. She knows she's not a great mover, so she goes for her shots, she, she controls the points. And that was fine when she was at the top, but if she is a step slower than normal, it's absolutely impossible. And the Australian in 95 and the French in 2000 at Pierce. When she was doing so, she wasn't missing opportunities like that. could be as you do for a, a normal day with conditions Was accurate. Fourth ace. Well, that's the sort of tennis Pierce is capable if the ball, of doing if the ball's in a hitting zone. Well, that's a very big service hole for Mary Pierce. She looked down and out, to be honest. beginning to use the power with a little more consistency now. Did she twist it? Mm. But I think it held.
Oh, I certainly didn't think that was long. I thought it was actually inside the line. Well, the approach was deep, but it was absolutely nowhere. Run onto the racket of Nagyova. And Nagyova this time electing to do the simple thing, just make Pierce play a volley. And for that evidence, you can see why. Particularly winning one. Terrific power from Pierce. She wins both points. Oh. Would certainly be interesting. Power appears too much for her. Nagyova slams the spare ball away in disgust. Point for two love lead. <laughs> so quickly snuffed out. Great length, great width from Pierce. And so many occasions when she's hit the winner in this match, there's been so much space within which to do it. Well. Good scrambling from Nashiova. But Pierce. When she hit that huge forehand, I think thought she'd won the point, made the mistake of not moving up after it because it was always going to be a short ball. And that has to be one of the slowest runs from baseline to net all year on the tour. You know, when you see Pierce play a rally like that, you think, oh, how on earth isn't she winning this match about 6-2, six, 6-2? Two, six, two? She can look back to the first set, because if she'd have gone four and up in that first set, I think she would have taken it, and I think she'd been off the court one and two, one and three. It's all about her losing control, losing her weight, and allowing this girl some confidence. So slightly towards the end of the second set. Oh. 
And corner cover doesn't play till later. And a corner cover who went through terrible double fault itis. Is she? She needed it. Oh, you see now my shoulder is blistering in the sun. It's a hard life. Love 30 down. Such a big mistake to hit to the forehand in the right court of Pierce, but Najeva hasn't had a thinking cap on today. She's done it time and time again with almost the identical result. Well, how lucky can you get? Such a sensible bounce smash from Mary Pierce. Chose the low part of the net to go over. Well, she hasn't held serve in the set so far, Pierce. Has now, and after two and a half hours, the match is tied at four. in the manner that should be by Pierce. And the second serve of Nashiva really starting to hurt her at this stage in the match. And good to see her being very positive going for the winner at break point down.
Well, good play from Pierce, but I was surprised that Maggie ever went for a squash shot the first time. I thought she was there and plenty of time to play the ordinary drive. Well, for someone that, you know, has to get a lot of balls in court, I really feel that Najeva doesn't actually defend that well. It's massive. Right onto the line. Immense game. Quality of play has been distinctly patchy. <laughs> Two errors from Pierce. And now you have a two points from victory. from left 30 down, suddenly she finds the winners. game when she's hit the ball like that. Wow. <laughs> That's what happens when you serve in the right court to the Pierce forehand. Same result. It's always going to be a cross-court winner. was really there for Mary Pierce. <laughs> well, the Slovakian special, as you've christened it, he's uh, from wide out. Works for Nagyova. and this time getting a time violation and she doesn't want that to happen again because then she loses a point she needs her uh, lenses 
And that's a great return. And it's match point. match we were denied a third tie break but Henrietta Nagy over one mind that 7-6-6-7-7-5 and it's Nagy over who goes through and will play the number five seed Justine Enna in the second round And all credit to her, Sam, but when you see Mary Pearson, remember how good she has been to see her play like this and, and basically to be unable to move. I mean, what's she doing? Well, it's the most immobile performance I've ever seen from Mary Pierce. She, she, when she got hold of the ball, she hit it great. But I think she needs to really work on that. And, get, and she's never going to be quick, but she can be a lot better. 